Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel and Calfs of the UK, where you join me at the new Caffeina machine in Bedfordshire. So let's take a look around and see what's on offer. Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the channel and CAFs of the UK. So we're leaving sunny stains today where I live. As you can probably see, it's just a car park. Like It never used to be this bad around Surrey, but literally stand still everywhere. But more to the point, what are we doing today and where are we going? So CAFs of the UK has gone a little bit quiet. I haven't followed it up recently. The weather's not been amazing this summer to be out on the bikes and the cars, but today we are going to Caffeine and Machine's new location. So we did there, is it? Can't even think where it is now. I'll put the postcode in for the area. But we did there one a couple of years back. Me and Sandra went there in the E46 M3. And really cool place. Love the atmosphere. Put a bit of taste in my mouth having to pay £10 to park there. And there were a few of you in the comments that said, well, it's a cool place, but they charge enough for the food. I wouldn't pay a tenner to park at a normal pub. And then I also found out afterwards that you could use, I believe it was five pounds as credit in the restaurant, but either way, still a fiver to park there. If they said, look, 10 pounds to enter, but you can use the whole 10 pound in the pub, perfect. I'd have been all for that. But rant over about that one. So we're going to the new one today. It looks like they've done a pretty cool job from what I saw online. I had a look at the website. It was an old abandoned pub before and they've just given it a full makeover. So yeah, we'll go check out parking, the roads around it, and obviously the food. What we are also doing is meeting up with Matt in his new GR86. Not my cup of tea car wise, but this is Matt. He probably won't have it for very long. So we're gonna meet him. He's found a nice back road route. And I mean, the roads are pretty disgusting, but let's see how it goes. As you saw from the clip, the roads around Caffeina Machine aren't fantastic. Tight, narrow, obviously on a wet day, not particularly enjoyable either, and riddled with some speed bumps, which was not good for people like me with a carbon fiber snow plow. Overall though, really enjoy the little morning out. If it was local, yeah, I'd stop in definitely more often, but given the journey time for me, it's not special enough to go out that way. They all just seem to be lacking that magic hold that would keep me there for a few hours. Like once I've eaten, I'm ready to go. Maybe it'd be better if there was more cars on show, but even then it just feels like it's another pub. It just needs something a little bit more special. I think for me, probably Podium Place is still really winning there because there's lots going on, lots of pretty stuff to see. They show the F1 
So yeah, if you are in the area, it's definitely worth stopping in. I mean, the food wasn't ridiculously expensive. Burger, chips, and a pint of Coke, 18 pound, pretty much what you'd expect. And Monday to Friday, it doesn't look like you have to pay parking unless it's for the bank holidays. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, another one of Cavs of the UK. If you've got any suggestions for other places to try out, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, until the next time.